In the previous tutorials, we have com completed the basic concepts of 3D and we have also created some 3D objects. So we are now ready for creating the advanced concepts. Now we will see what is the revolve. So before going to new advanced concept, we will just cover some basic concepts about polyline. because we will be needing the polyline for revolve, sweep and lop concept. So polyline. Polyline is a continuous single line. The method to draw the polyline is same as normal lines. We can draw it as normal lines only. But the object created by polyline are Sing, uh, are single one object whereas uh, if we create some object with line it is in separate elements so each line is a separate element so that is the difference between polyline and simple line I can convert polyline into simple line using explode command explode select object enter each line will be separated into individual lines that means it will be converted into a simple line to convert simple line into polyline you have to use p edit command p is the shortcut select polyline select any one line he is asking you do you want to turn it into one so by default y is selected just press enter then select join option and select all the lines those you want to join enter and enter simple line will be converted to polyline in this way you can convert simple line to polyline or you can also create directly polyline using p line command or polyline command this is the concept for polyline we will see what is revolve now before going to revolve we will shift to southeast isometric then we will use UCS icon command to shift it on the left side so we will say no origin we will pre uh, shift to right plane so that we will able to draw it on the right plane suppose I create a circle and this circle I want to revolve around this axis vertical axis around this axis I want to revolve this circle I will shift to conceptual visual style I will say revolve then he is asking me select object to revolve this circle I want to revolve enter then specify axis star point or defined axis by so I want to uh, revolve around this axis so I will take its start point and end point then he is asking me angle of revolution suppose angle of revolution is 180 degree enter so that circle has revolved around this line in 180 degree same way I can revolve it in 360 degree also revolve select object to revolve enter or right click then specify first axis point, second axis point, angle to revolve 360 degree. So in this way, circle has been revolved and this object has been created. Same way you can revolve any profile. We will just create one profile. That profile should be using polyline or you have to convert it into polyline using p edit command if you create it by simple line. So I am creating this profile. enter so this profile should be joined at the corner then I want to revolve it around this axis so I am creating this axis so this will be act as a radius for the revolved object so again revolved select object to revolve enter axis first point axis second point angle of revolution suppose 270 degree so in this way it, it has revolved in 270 degree 
same way suppose if I use this as a axis revolve select profile enter first point second point angle of revolution 360 degree so around that it has revolved in this way you can use a revolved command next is helix to create helix suppose we will shift back to, to top plane helix then specify center point of base then base radius top radius and height in this way this helix is created you can fine tune it by double clicking on it so you will have the properties play, uh, properties here you can change height height for the helix suppose i want 25 number of turns you can change i want 6 turn height you can give it or base radius suppose 10 top radius 10 you can also control the direction twist clockwise or counter clockwise to come out just press escape and close this properties if not required in this way you can create a helix so it is a helix 2d uh, 3d helix if you want to convert this uh, this is a wireframe type helix if you want to convert it into a 3d you can use sweep command for sweep you will have to define the section so i want a circular uh, spring suppose circular cross section spring so i will draw a circle i will say sweep then select object to sweep i want to sweep this circle then right click or enter select sweep path so i want to sweep on this path so on this path it has rotated that circle and it has created a solid spring so in this way you can create a, a spring using helix and sweep sweep can be used for a creation of any object that needs a path and cross section suppose some piping is there so you have to draw the path using polyline only suppose i create some path using polyline suppose this is my pipe routing so my pipe is flowing like this right click enter then i have some radiuses so i will use fillet right click i will say radius suppose this much radius i want 15 then right click i want to radius polyline so i will say polyline and select the polyline so all corners will be filleted so here fillet radius cannot be given because gap was lesser lesser distance is available therefore it was not filleted so you have to increase the gap so i want to create a rectangular duct like this so i will create a rectangle of desired dimension then i will say sweep then select object to sweep then select then right click then select sweep path so it has floored that rectangular section on this and it has created a sweep so uh, in this way you can uh, sweep any section on some path so path should be created using polyline and you can make it hollow by using shell command so you have to say shell then select 3d object then remove faces so while you want to make it hollow you have to say which faces you want to remove so i want to remove this face and i want to remove this face then enter then give the shell offset distance how much thickness you want for the hollow shape so i want 0 0.5 and press escape to come out so in this way it has created the hollow shape in this way you can use the sweep comma shell command to make the 3d object hollow so in this way you can use the sweep command so next concept is loft so loft is basically used to connect different cross sections suppose i will create some cross sections suppose i have this rectangle 
I will see in top view so it will be easy for me to create the cross sections using this top view so I will create one more cross section here and I will create suppose one more here so I have these three cross sections I will uh, switch back to southeast isometric and I will shift them to a different height using move command you can also use the 3d move also or 2d move can also be used so select object enter base point give direction and give the height at how much height that section should be select the next section base point and give the height so now we have these three sections at desired heights we want to connect all these three and create a 3d object we will give loft then select cross section in lofting order this should be connected to this and this should be connected to this then press enter and I want to connect cross section only so I will say cross section only so it has created this 3d object I can define whether I want to connect it directly so I, for that I have to say ruled and if I want to connect it smoothly I can say it smooth fit and say ok to complete the operation so in this way you can connect available cross sections using loft command so there are two more options are there to loft command one is path and guide so we will see that also those options also so to create a path I will just switch to right plane right UCS so that I can create a path here so path should be created using polyline only so this path is created you can also give the dimensions then I have to fillet it so I will say fillet fillet first line second line radius was already set so I will change that radius it is looks to be small radius so I will take it larger so it can be smoothly converted okay so this path and two cross sections at two ends so for the creation of this end I will switch back to top UCS so that I can create here some cross section I want some rectangular shape here I will move, move this rectangle by tracking the center point of the rectangle at the end of this line same way I want some cross section on this corner so this should be on front so I sh shift it to front then I will create one more rectangle suppose here smaller one then again I will say move I will track the midpoint center point of rectangle and so this two cross section should be connected on this path so I will say loft select cross section in lofting order then right click then select path option so I want to join it on this path so in this way it has joined it in on the that path so you can make this hollow using again shell command if you want to make it hollow just say shell select 3d object remove faces I want to remove this this face and front face so I want to remove this face then press enter then give the shell thickness suppose I want 0.5 as a shell thickness so it has created the shell object so it has made it hollow because of shell so in this way you can give it the color desired color using this color option so in this way you can create a transition piece using loft same way you can also connect two cross sections on guides suppose some guides are there so I will switch back to right plane I will create some guides using spline so I want something like this enter 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 then again spline I will below create some guide below enter 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 so I want to connect on these two guide I will say loft then select the cross section right click say guides option and select the both the guides and right click so it has created this object in 3d 
lofted object so in this way you can use the advanced object in autocad 3d so thanks for joining